Today I am grooming my shaky little chicken wing named Malvin. He is a six-year-old Pomeranian, and he hates being groomed. Despite my best efforts, Melvin is a big fan of trying to unalive himself during the process. Come here, Mr. Melvin. Get over here, Mr. Melvin. Okay, Melvin, let's try to not back out of the bathtub, but first, I know you're not happy. You're not a happy camper. Breathe, Melvin. Breathe, you little baboon. Oh, you hate being groomed. So first I'm just going to bathe Melvin in Nasty Critter Deep Cleaning Shampoo, and then I am going to use a medicated shampoo in the attempts to try and fix his skin, although he's been a baboon for a really long time, and he probably will stay that way, right? Melvin hates being groomed, and he constantly tries to expire himself the entire time. He has a total of two brain cells, and sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. Oh, Melvin, stop running for your life. Breathe, Melvin, breathe, breathe. Come here. <laughs> So I adopted Melvin, I think he was two when I adopted him. That was a good four years ago. Almost five years ago now, actually, I think. And he has alopecia, so nobody wanted him. Oh, poor Melvin. Okay, stop it. You're gonna be fine. I can't put him in a grooming loop when I bathe him because he will simply off himself. No, you can't jump out of the tub. I know I always make fun of Melvin for being dumb and people tell me it's all about the training and your dog's not stupid. Listen, I love my dogs. Most of the time when I call them dumb, I'm really just kidding. It's just my way of expressing my love. However, when it comes to Melvin, I am unfortunately being serious. We have been trying to teach Melvin how to sit for four years and he still does not understand the concept of sitting. I have other dogs. All three of them know how to sit except for Melvin. <laughs> Melvin is just a very interesting character. He does a lot of really strange things, right? Yeah. I've been trying to help his skin for years. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it gets worse. But a few things that I do is, well, first of all, he's on a raw diet. He loves his food. And when I put him on the raw diet, his tear stains actually significantly um, decreased. He has a little bit of staining now, but it was black and chunky when I first got him. So it's gotten considerably better. But also I give him biotin. I also give him omega oils and I give him melatonin. The melatonin I get in a liquid form. All of this is available on Amazon and that really helps their skin. So if you have a dog that has skin issues or alopecia, a lot of people comment um, asking me what I do for him. So those are the things that I do for him. And I mean, he could be completely bald. I've seen Pomeranians that are totally bald except for their heads, and he's not totally bald. So it must be working to some degree, but it is what it is. You are a baboon little man, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm going to give him the Propex shampoo. This is veterinary prescribed. It helps with bacteria and yeast. So I don't actually think that he really has either of those things, but just in case he does, this shampoo won't hurt him. I also use this shampoo for Ace because Ace recently had a bacterial and fungal infection. Okay, buddy, okay, relax. Relax, you little chicken wing. Melvin weighs a whopping three pounds, right? And if you've seen my other videos of him, Melvin 
likes to meow like a cat. I've never caught it on film. Hopefully I will be able to catch it one day. <laughs> But it's true, I don't know if it's because he was raised with cats for the first two years. It is, he makes the, he makes the strangest noises that you will ever hear come out of a dog. Right, little freak Melvin? You little weirdos? Oh my gosh. He's got some staining here. He's obviously been licking and licking and licking his paws. He might have an allergy of some sort, who knows? Who knows with you? The good news with Melvin is that other than his skin being a little weird, he has no medical problems at all. He can eat anything I give him. He ne I, this dog has never had diarrhea. Like his digestive system is just fantastic. <laughs> Are you for real, buddy? You are something else. Unless you're lucky you're okay, Jesus. Now let me just say that this never would have happened with a client dog. But obviously I gave Melvin a bit too much trust today than I should have because he's my own dog. Next time he will get bathed at the bottom of the bathtub to prevent him from jumping out. I thought we made some progress, Melvin, but I forgot that your two brain cells can't comprehend that heights equals danger. Okay, you're a freak. You're a total freak. Breathe, Melvin, breathe. If you're thinking of getting a Pomeranian, don't use Melvin as an example. <laughs> Melvin is a very, very odd little dog. Right, Mr. Melvin? When I brought him home the first day, I had him on the couch with me and we were cuddling. And then my boyfriend came home, this was four years ago, and he came to say hello to Melvin on the couch and Melvin fell off the couch and he hit his head and he was not happy, he was screaming, he was freaking out, so I went to go cuddle him and for whatever reason, he blamed my boyfriend for him falling off the couch. And he would not come to him or have anything to do with him for an entire year because he believed that he was the cause of him falling off the couch and hurting himself. An entire year, this dog holds grudges. And guess what, Melvin? It was nobody else's fault but your own because you are not very intelligent. Even though you're cute, you have adorableness, but brains, not so much. Okay. Let's go for your favorite part, the blow dry. Stay tuned while we blow dry him and give him a brush. And he's a big weirdo for everything. Oh, poor Melvin, poor shaking leaf. What am I doing to you? How dare I make you clean? As you can imagine, if Melvin hates the bath, Melvin also hates the blow dry. Melvin, could you look at me? Could you turn around and look at me? No? Oh, poor shaky leaf. You're okay, Mr. Melvin. You don't have much hair, so it's not gonna take lime, a long time to dry you. It's okay, Mr. Melvin's. Poor little Melvin. All right, I'm gonna take the little dog high velocity dryer. I cannot dry him with a small handheld dryer. It would take way too long. So let's do this, Mr. Melvin. It's okay. No, no off from yourself. No expiring yourself. Okay, we're gonna dry quick.
Okay, so I sprayed him with the stuff for dogs. Now I'm gonna brush him, starting with my slicker brush and then moving over to my metal comb. Oh, poor little Melvin. Look at this little rat tail. What is this thing? Oh my God. I don't even know with you anymore. I really don't. Good boy. Be there. The worst is over. He knows the worst is over. He hates the bath and the blow dry, but he tolerates the rest of being groomed. Right? Right? So you do have some brain cells. Just a few though, right? So Melvin also has a permanent lipstick. For those of you who know what that is, you know what I'm talking about. The vet told me, so he was used as a breeding dog, so the vet told me that it has something to do with that, I guess, and it won't go back in. In order for it to go back in, they have to do surgery that will actually make it smaller, a very invasive surgery. And after she told me the details of what it would be like, I decided not to do that to my dog because it doesn't seem to bother him. It doesn't seem to be irritated or anything like that. So unless it becomes a problem, I'm not gonna do anything about it because I really don't think he would appreciate me making that smaller. No, I think he would be very upset about the whole situation. So yeah, he's not just happy to be here, guys. It's just a permanent thing. <laughs> he can't control it. Poor Mr. Melvin. Working with small dogs, if you could tell by how difficult he was trying to bathe him and dry him, um, it's dangerous because one tiny little wrong movement and he can really hurt himself. So it's, it's hard to find someone with experience with these really tiny dogs because obviously not everybody has dogs this small. But ideally, if you're looking for a groomer that has experience with tiny dogs, it's ideal. Obviously, sorry, Melvin. Obviously, the only way to get experience is to work on them. So I'm not saying to not go to somebody that hasn't worked on small dogs, but you just need to be... The person needs to be aware that it's not the same as working on your average dog. Oh my God, okay, stop it. No, stay. No, Melvin. Okay, you're being pathetic now. No squeaking. Melvin. <laughs> So that's what Melvin does if I clean out his ears, if I pick him up the wrong way, if, oh, actually, that's what Melvin does if I, one time he was barking nonstop, so I took a crumpled up piece of Kleenex and I threw it at him and it landed ever so gently on the top of his head and he screamed bloody murder, ran out of the room continuously screaming as if I just shot him. It was the most dramatic performance I he outdoes any husky on the channel ever. Okay, I'm going to clip his nails. Stay. No, no, Melvin, don't be bad. Thank you. No. Hey. No. You're not normally like this for your nails anyway. Good boy. No, good boy. I know you're missing a toe there. No, sorry, not a toe, a toenail. I don't know what he did, but it happened a few years ago and he broke his nail and that was it. It never grew back. Stay. Okay, one more foot. Melvin. Melvin man. Okay, that's it for Mr. Melvin. Normally I would trim his paw pads, which I might do later, but this was really just a bath and a brush today because he was nasty. He likes treats, so we're gonna give him a little bit of treats, even though he was a little bit of a brat, right? He's a savage when it comes to food, this dog.
Okay, okay, okay. These are beef liver treats and he's losing his mind. He doesn't have any front teeth, so it's hard for him to grab the treats. Stay, stay there. So that's it for Mr. Melvin today. We're gonna go outside and play in the grass. Right, Melvin? Are you a bad boy? Yeah, you're a bad boy. Yes, you are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a couple of days. Okay, Melvin, let's go outside. I'll go outside, go pee. Good boy. It's safe to say that little Melvin is happy to be finished. His quirkiness makes him who he is, and I wouldn't change him for any dog in the world. Stay tuned for my next video to see my special little ace hole. If you know, you know.